Welcome everyone to your numerology reading for November. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you're friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you. This is a collective reading, so let's see. Getting straight in there is follow your dreams, 85. So, ooh. There's going to be a, some kind of change coming, you know. It's like it's time to really make sure that you are following those dreams. Reach the stars and follow those dreams, whatever they may be. Um, you're being encouraged to put your hopes and dreams at the forefront of your mind and to believe without any doubt that they are really coming true. Pay no attention to poverty, conscious, fear, or competition because the universe is abundant and there is no limitations. Well, <clears throat> a lot of signs are getting this. So let's see what's going on over here. We have a relationship change coming in, 56. So some kind of change within love. When It, <clears throat> it doesn't always have to be love. The six is love, though. Um, but you do have that relationship change, but it also could be, um, because it is a general reading, um, it definitely could be, uh, it could be change in with who you're dealing with at work. It could be relationships within your friendships. So take it how it resonates. Personal growth over here, talking about that seven. Personal growth. Something about personal growth that says you have grown away from a relationship. That's exactly what's going on. Follow your dreams. I think for a lot of you, you want this relationship grow, uh, excuse me, change because you know you have outgrown this relationship. You know, either your way, you know, no matter what's happened, you have spiritually grown above whatever this person is, right? If this person is just not on the same page as you anymore, that's exactly what it is. So, you know, if you don't drink anymore and you could say, you know what, I don't go out drinking anymore. So me and Susie really just cannot hang out too much anymore. Um, I'm going to go hang out with, you know, with Marie instead because, you know, we're going to go to Starbucks and, you know, go drink coffee because I don't, I just don't want to drink alcohol anymore. I'm done drinking, right? I'm done partying. Um, so it could be something like that, or even in a love relationship, maybe you guys are just not on the same page. Um, so whatever it is, it's showing that you have personally grown spiritually away from this relationship. Take that how it resonates, okay, because that's exactly what it's talking about. And you're going to follow your dreams. You're going after what it is you want to do. If, you know, I don't want to drink anymore, um, I'm following my dreams to... You know what? Take on an extra job instead of going out, you know, and partying and dancing and doing all that because, you know what? I want to better myself, right? So, and of course, if that's not your story, you always throw it away. It's just an example, right? Um, but definitely, you know, yeah, share the love with somebody who you can open up to, somebody who has the same values, somebody that you can feel like, you know what? We're on the same page. Actually, it just feels like they're together. They did fall out together. So joy, stability, well-deserved reward. Wow, they're coming out in twos. So, yeah, you're going to find somebody who makes you happy. Somebody, you know what, maybe they're, like, always depressed. And maybe you don't want to be around somebody who's depressed. Um, maybe you've spiritually grown and you're like, you know what, I've found a positive attitude um, towards everything because I know how to manifest and I know what I want in life. And, you know what, I don't want to be around somebody who's always down in the dumps, who's always negative. Um, right. I want somebody who has joy, who wants to be stable in their emotions. Um, right. Because you just feel like you have well-deserved rewards on your way. You feel like the nine of coins. You feel like you have traveled, you know, the higher road and, um, you know, of energy and life. And, you know, I just don't misery loves company guys. Right. I, I'm sorry. I don't know who that's for, but there's definitely somebody around you who just feels like they're every day is a complaint. Maybe they're too much drama. And I just don't want to be a part of this anymore. Um, just, you know, maybe it's even a job. I don't know why. I mean, it would say career change, but I don't know. For some of you, it could literally be a job, though, too. Maybe the relationship is between you and your boss or coworkers, and they're just, you know, we're not getting along. Um, but it does feel like following your dreams, you are awaiting some kind of result over here, some kind of manifestation. I think for some of you, it actually is love, right? Because you have, you have folk, you have changed your focus. Personal growth is the change, the focus, the way that I'm looking at things, the way I'm nurturing things. I've become the empress. Look at that. You're the empress and the nine of pentacles. It's saying that the way I've changed, the way I'm looking at things, the way I've transitioned myself and transformed, um, I 
I'm just different. I have a different, look at that, clarity of belief. I believe things that are different. I'm looking at the world differently. I am a butterfly. Ace of Swords, I have grown past this. I see the world differently, so I am moving on. Wow. You guys are probably seeing a lot of sevens. A lot of sevens. Spirit says, you know what? You have, you have transitioned. You have changed. They're noticing the change within you. Whatever area of your life that this is in, um, to where it's going to change your friends. It's changing your love. It ch could be changing your job and the relationship of the coworkers around you. Um, wow. Just so your whole perspective is different because you are following your dreams. The Spirit says just continue to keep going because you're, oh, your results are coming in. You have a well-deserved reward coming in and you're just waiting for it. But I think a lot of you know you're waiting for it. You know it's coming. Things are changing. I'm changing the way I'm looking at things. Oh my gosh. This is like beautiful. Okay, so changing the re re relationship change. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab some tarot cards over here really fast. Wow. I mean, this is a huge transformation. Your mind has changed. Your heart has changed. The way you're moving is so different. I, you know what? People are probably like, I don't even know who this person is. <laughs> um, maybe they, you know, maybe some, some of you are like, and I didn't walk away from them. They walked away from me because we can't get along, you know, however, right. Um, that they see you is different. I mean, I can only guarantee in your first house, they're just like, and I don't see you as the same anymore. You are different. You have changed so much. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have, you've become the high priestess. You know exactly where you need to be. Your morals have changed. The way you see things around you. The whole world around you has is, is changed. Look at that. You have the Wheel of Fortune coming out. You're on your destined path over here. You have erased the karma. You may have even broken the karmic change, or chains. Excuse me. Yeah, for change. So if you know that you were with a karmic situation, maybe a love situation, you know, if that was the turning point, the turning point when you became the high priestess, when you got into the high and the, the all-knowing over here of something is wrong, this is not where I want to be, your lifestyle has changed. The karma has been lifted from that karmic cycle. You have broken away from that. Where you want to give and receive is where you want to have your new opportunity. You have new plans. You have new dreams. And you're giving everything you need. You want someone to give to that is you know, balanced, somebody who wants to receive, you are receiving, giving, then you want somebody just as generous as yourself, you know, but you're also sharing new things, new opportunities, and it just feels like spirit is like, and I'm going to, there's that six again, look at that six, I'm going to, I'm telling you, I'm going to give you a relationship to where you feel like you have what it is you need. This is bringing in a lot of willpower, new beginnings, and opportunities. You have a lot of new opportunities coming in. A lot of creative opportunities as well. You have some kind of happy surprise coming in, and it could definitely be a new love because you are the daydream believer over here. And that's just because you're following your dreams. You might even have a Pisces coming in, or Scorpio, or a Cancer. And it also could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius coming in. But it's just like, that's fine because, you know what, I found my harmonious place. You have healed, you have found your purpose, and you're finding the meaning to what it is you truly want. But every time we have, excuse me, personal growth, it shows, you know what, this is where I'm going to be. I found my life path. I know where I want to be. I know how to get there in its own way, but I'm just going to keep going strong. And you're being recognized in different ways by different people. Six again, guys. Someone's seen a lot of sixes and a lot of ones. Yeah. Six, seven, one, five for the change. And eight. A lot of eights. I see five plus three over here together as eight. Seven plus one over here together as, as eight. Four plus three over here as seven. Seven below it. And then, of course, the 1, and then 1 plus 6 is 7 again, plus the 6 again. Yeah. 
but yeah, you're being recognized in different ways. They're seeing you as more self-confident. They see you, you know, it's almost like the emperor has his new groove. That's what it reminds me of. It really reminded me of that movie. Or you can say the old book emperor has got new clothes. Either which way, you take it as you, take it out how you see it, but it's, you know, it's the same. But I definitely see it as they do see you in a different light. Clarify on what is coming for the majority of everybody, please. Clarify what's coming. What is this reward? It's slowly coming. Queen of Wands. Possess for life determination to be focused with the hard work. A lot of hard work is, you know, being put in. And I, Spirit says they just see you as what is coming? More hard work for what it is you love or new love coming in as a gift. Look at that. You're getting dupes. You're going to take a tower moment for personal transformation. But it's crazy because it says you're taking the tower. You're making the tower. Look at that. You're at making the tower. Spirit's like, I'm not going to even make the tower. You did it. Right? It's right side up. It's 1 plus 6 equals 7 again. But because it's in reverse, you can go 1 minus 6 equals 5, which says I did this before Spirit did it itself. It was almost like to the point where it's like, and I don't need Spirit to do this because I already have the sudden awareness. I already have the understanding of what's going on. And I don't fear the change. I don't fear the change at all. I'm making the change. I'm doing it myself because I know where I want to be and I know that we do not fit together anymore. So I'm overcoming the shortcomings of this relationship because that's all it is is shortcomings. If we're not on the same page, then it's a short page now, isn't it? I want a long page, right? I want a relationship that's long term. I want things to know that we're on the right page, that we can have long-term relationships. This, even if it was a long-term relationship, now it's nothing but shortcomings, so we have nothing in common, right? Because I've moved to a higher ground, right? Some of them might even think, okay, well, you know, that's pretty, you know, they might see you as prideful or, you know, maybe you're conceited. Watch all those things, though, because they're wrong. Just because you move to a higher ground and you know who you are does not make you conceited. It does not make you an egomatic person. It does not make you, it makes you smart. It makes you wise. You're saying your shortcomings are you still want to go out and drink. I do not want to drink. You don't believe in a lot of the things I believe in. Maybe, you know, they're completely atheist and you are like, I believe in the universe. So, you know, and before it never affected me, but then all of a sudden it does affect me. It does, because now I understand my spiritual grounding, so it does affect me. Sometimes, guys, it does affect you. Some people, it does. Not everybody, but some people, it does. Because then how are you going to say, well, because, especially in a, a, like a marriage or a really close relationship, I can't talk to you about my divine um, growth and transformation that I've been going on. I can't tell you about my spiritual journey because you don't believe in anything. You think I'm a crackpot, you know what I'm saying, or or stupid, or whatever. You see what I'm saying? And I know that for 100 because I've been there. You know, I've been there. You know, and you cannot have a relationship with people who don't believe in a lot of the things that you divinely believe in. If they don't believe, it's very hard. You know. And it doesn't, you know, you could even tell them, well, it doesn't mean that we can't be, you know, friends for a while. You know, we still be friends. We just can't hang out because I'm not going drinking at the bar with you. You know, you want to call and text. But if they're just full of drama, you're just like, you know what? And I don't want to hear your drama anymore. I'm like so over it. It's just negative and I don't want to be a part of it anymore. It causes my own anxieties. It causes my own downfalls. It's just something I did and I just don't want to hear it anymore. I've just grown away from it. You have too many problems and I don't want to deal. Right? So just be careful of people, you know. Because people do, you know, it's, it's almost like as soon as, as soon as you do something wonderful, a lot of people are jealous or they don't understand or, you know, they want to manipulate a situation and, you know, for their own inner feelings or, you know, and that's, we do see that though too with the King of Cups. If they're becoming the King of Cups, they're going to, you know, they think you're cold or you're moody or what's wrong with you or it's just all of a sudden everything turned on you because you became, you know, you went on your spiritual path. You became more mature in spirit. 
And that's what it is. It's a spiritual maturity. Right? And people don't understand that or don't want to understand that. So they will try to manipulate the situation and try to manipulate what you have, you know, going on that's wonderful within yourself. Or you just think you're too good. Yeah, I've heard that one too. And it's like, that's, you know what, that just shows how, all it ends up doing in the end, you guys, is really showing how even more or less spiritual grown they are and how less um, mature they are. It's going to actually show their immaturity to the situation. Because we're not talking about somebody you can just be along, you know, get along with, who's just like, that's not my cup of tea. And you're like, okay, that's fine. We can talk about other things. That would be different. You know? Like family. You know, it's like, mom, while I do this, and she's like, I don't believe in that. I'm like, okay, we'll talk about other things. You know what I mean? We're not talking about that kind of situation. We're talking about how all of a sudden you see this person in a whole different view and a whole different light and how they kind of hold you down. And, you know, you've grown away from each other so much that there's literally nothing to talk about. Literally nothing to talk about, Page of Swords in reverse. There is nothing to talk about. We have nothing in common. Okay? And now you're going to be a disregard for my becoming an imprint, for my following my dreams, for me being who I am, who I've become. Total disregard. Of your thoughts, your feelings. Okay. But what you have coming is just, it looks like it's just, you know, for a lot of you, it's a new beautiful love. Yes, a new beautiful love situation or whatever it is. You're following your dreams, whatever you're manifesting with the page of pinnacles coming in. For some of you, you do have this beautiful page coming in who's going to offer you some beautiful love. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Or you could be dealing with a, a water sign, which I think I said that already. Yeah, over here. Pisces, Scorpio. Could be anybody. But I'm just saying, whatever it is, you're just waiting the results over here. Spirit says you're doing a great job. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing for your own happiness. We can't make everybody happy, unfortunately. You know, we're here to do what we need to do and follow the journey that we need to to do while we are spirits here on this human journey. You know, we have a lot of, con you know, a lot of contracts, karmic contracts that we get through, and they're not meant forever. They're meant to learn something and then move forward. Not all are meant to, to be for forever. Right? And then some of you would be like, thank God. Because just think about it. Some of the people that you run into that you know were karmic. I mean, could you imagine still being with some of those people? I could not. It was like, thank you for the tower. <laughs> but this one's saying you're making your own tower because you know better. And Spirit is rewarding you for your growth, for your spiritual maturity, for your letting go of what no longer serves you to get to what it is you need. Or releasing the karmic. Not going to allow yourself to sit over here with chains learn what you need to learn and it's time to move oh my god this is a beautiful reading tell you those eclipses they're pretty strong you know they're really strong because everybody's having some stuff go on that just it's crazy it's just crazy time right now donkey keep your heart open no matter what there it is see that's it keep your heart open to whatever it is and act with fortitude and cooperation Yes, and that's it right there, right? That's it. I mean, that's, you know what? It's, you know, it doesn't say go, you know, you don't have to go be an asshole to anybody and be like, well, you know, we're not on the same page, you know? You just, you know, it's all over, you know? Before you know it, it'll just be, you know, what? for some of you, I just feel like it's going to be one of those things where it's like, no, I'm sorry, I'm busy. No, I'm sorry, I'm busy, until they just don't call back, <laughs> You know what I mean? It's going to be one of those. It's like my plan in action. My plan in action is, is that if I keep ignoring you, you will go away. And I don't even have to hurt your feelings. Right? For others of you, you're just like, well, you know, I just don't feel like we can really do anything anymore. So, you know, it's time to go. Um, elephant, open yourself to true abundance. And, you know, that's really what it is. Keep your heart open. You know what you need to do. Everybody's story is different. But, yep, that's what it is. Set your clear boundaries and, you know, enforce them. Sorry, we can't be friends anymore. Next thing you know, you're 
change your phone number, <laughs> right? Not even a block. I just changed my whole damn number, right? Okay, guys. Till next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.